Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another Christmas project um, album to share with you guys that I created using up some leftover scraps that I had from this collection called Winter Farmhouse from the 6x8 paper pad. I'm going to have this collection linked down below. Um, and I also previously made this album with it following one of my Scrappy Christmas Crafts tutorials. So you guys could check this out in the description box down below. But this is where I used majority of the paper. And then I did have some paper left over. So I wanted to make another project because no paper gets wasted here. And I wanted it off of my craft desk and I wanted to be able to write it off. So I needed to finish up using it. Um, so yeah, I could write off another one. All right, guys, so let's get started and I'm going to show you guys what I created. Okay, so this is, I think, the same size as my previous album. Yeah, it is. So if you guys want to create this, you guys totally can. Um, I mean... The base is going to be the same except for the pages on the inside because obviously I didn't have all that paper. The pages are different. Um, but anyway, on the cover here, I use that other full size sheet from the collection that says Hello Winter. I've got some like these flowers. So instead of leaving them open like I did on this other one, this time I covered up the flowers and just added like a little bit of three dimensional kind of stuff. But I also um, triple matted here instead of double matted. So I've got the gold and then red on top of the black base. I do have my zigzag stitching and I've got like these little red um, jemmies here. My closure on this one is like a plaid design and it's black with like an ivory, not white. I do have a white one, but this one's not white. This one's ivory. Um, here is the spine. This is actually a scrap from another collection, like a Cartabella paper that I had. I thought it somewhat matched to that. And then this is the back side, and I've got my handmade kind of logo um, on there. So this opens up with my ribbon closure, and this is what it looks like on the inside. So I don't know if you guys could tell, but this paper and this paper are not from the collection. This is some other Cartabella collection scrap that I had. And then this is just like a plaids um, Christmas paper pack that I have in my stash. So I use that here. I did supplement with some solids, but my goal was to use up the other like five sheets or so that I had in the collection left. So this was one. This was two back here from that Simple Stories Winter Farmhouse collection. Um, this is three. And here I decided to use up a cut apart that says there's snow one like you. I made it a little pocket and used up scraps to make this cute little tag. So it's got like a star bread, some seam binding here, which I'll link down below. It's from my scrap cabin shop. I could even try to find the star brads that I used here. I'll link the gold foil paper. And that's what that looks like, white on the back. And that just tucks right back in here and it just lives in that pocket. I do have a little scrap ribbon here that I had in my stash. I, I use like, I put, I've been starting to put like some scrap ribbons here that I'm using and I just use them um, for things like this or on tags. So this flips open and is magnetized closed. So that was page number three and you guys could see I double matted on all of this. We've got page four and five here. You could add just lots of photos. And then this flips again, page six, and then the back here is page seven. Um, so I guess I had seven pages left over, or maybe eight. I can't even remember. I think seven with some scraps because I do see this pocket here um, and I do see that same pattern here. So I had that. Um, and then here I have a cut apart that says you melt my heart, just like a little notebook. You could add a photo and do journaling. You could also add more photos in this pocket here. I use some stickers that I just had left over from some other collection. I just, I keep my Christmas scraps kind of like together because I just use them wherever. Um, I have a Merry Christmas sticker there, just some decoration. And that's what that looks like there. Um, I do have some brads here. These are like adhesive brads from some other collection. I think I use like four collections in here <laughs> apparently because every single one of these is a little bit different. Um, but that's from some other collection as well. 
Then this is just a waterfall. And I totally forgot to mention, you guys, if you guys are interested in purchasing this folio, it will be available in my Etsy shop. So you guys can find that down below. Um, you guys can see what other, um, other folios or albums I have available. Um, here I used a, I think this was like a scrap from another collection that I fussy cut. And it says it's the most wonderful time of the year. And I triple matted it and just added it here. These flip open, they are black on the back and they all got the, um, just like a different kind of solid paper color. So you could add a photo or do journaling. And then there's a secret one on the bottom that flips open again. So you don't see it here. Like you don't see that other color, but it does flip open. And that is this whole entire folio. I do love how this turned out. And even with just like a little bit of sheets of paper, like I was able to create something and supplement with some other ones as well. So sometimes when I'm down to my last bit, I have to supplement and I pull from a bunch of different collections. Whereas most of the time, like this one, I do stick with the collection for the most part. It's just when I get down to like some sheets of paper that I don't have enough for a full project um, to make something. Um, this um, album specifically, I do not have a tutorial on. I was just kind of using up what I had left. But in one of my um, Christmas albums, I did show you guys how to make kind of like this, like this part. And you guys have seen how to make the waterfall in my album. So if you guys wanted to put those together, you guys could make something as well. But otherwise, it's not just like one specific tutorial for this. It's just parts, I guess, that I have shown in other tutorials. So that is what this album looks like. Again, it is available in my Etsy shop in case you guys are interested. I'll also have the main collection kit that I use down below, the Winter Farmhouse. I'll have that linked for you guys where you guys could check that out. And that is everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next crafty video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.